Kevin here and welcome back to another video where today we are back on Minecraft Story Mode and oh wait not Minecraft Story Mode Minecraft Story Mode Season 2 let's just go we opened up a heck mouth heck mouth in the floor Oh, holding up the llama. Oh, it's so close to Beacon Town. Here, uh, maybe you could leave a warning or something. Uh, warning, heck mouth. Keep off the grass. Nothing to see here. Top secret, go away. Keep off the grass. Totally. Keep off the grass. Sure. <laughs> yeah, that works. Okay, then. <clears throat> what do we do about all this? Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. There's a treasure hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. And you trust this guy? Yeah. I mean, I never met him before, but I've heard a lot of good things. Okay. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. <sighs> okay. Come on, you. What about my hand? This thing won't come off. I... Yeah, I, I know, I know, but this llama... Why is that llama so important to you? <sighs> you know my sword? Gold one, with all the enchantments? Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I kinda got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while, and now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh... It's been not great. Petro, why didn't you tell me about this? You haven't exactly been around much. Didn't want to bother you with it. So, yeah, her, her name's Stella, and she's kind of obsessed with treasure. She says this is her treasure-sniffing llama. Yeah. Her... She runs a place called Champion City. Wait, like Champion City right over there? I had no idea their leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. We're the Order of the Stone, Petra. Looking out for each other is what we do. That's fair. Thanks, Jesse. Come on. Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand! Oh, wow. Is that a llama? Like a llama statue? Yep, that's a llama statue. Beautiful. Pretty cool city. This is it. Champion City. Every single one of those apartments up there is exactly the same. If it's really champions that even wear all the champions, huh? It's more like Llama City. Well, uh, yeah, good one. What? Come on, we're almost there. It's like she doesn't want to go see Stella. I kind of know how she feels. I just really need this to go well. And with Stella, well, it doesn't. Most times. I know that in your head you've got her built up as this big, terrible person, but she can't be that bad. We'll work it out. <laughs> Clearly you haven't met her yet. Anyway, Stella usually has her office hours in the center of the courtyard. Well, I hope she's ready for an appointment with Jesse and Petra. Okay. 
the gardener, big towers. Can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anymore. Okay, that's totally cool. So Petra and Llama, front gate, I can't do anything, okay, let's go to the front gate and not talk to Petra and the Llama. That Llama got a prismarine gauntlet stuck on my fist. Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Oh, well, that is a cute one. And he could be all yours. Provided you have the right payment, of course. Oh, she matches your outfit. Okay. Oh, Luna, my darling! You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? The mom is like, save me! There's a good girl. Stella? Oh, look who it is! Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've never met her before, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City? Surely you think about it as much as I do? <laughs> Sorry, but you are not my rival. Even my B list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. Okay. Ah, I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Got some fine puppies here. All free range, of course. Oh, I really, really wish I could. I mean, really, but I can't. Oh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. <laughs> and, you know, oh I heard gosh. you need a new pet, so... Okay, hold it. That's so rude. Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too hard now. Don't make me get tough here, Stella. You know what Petra wants. We're not leaving without that sword. Wait, is this about... Oh, Petra? Oh, sweetie, no. I was very clear. I make trades for treasures. I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Oh, no, was that supposed to be a secret? <laughs> oh, we are going to talk about this later, Petra. I uh, know. Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, Way nicer than yours. Okay. Do you two know the way out? Oh, what am I saying? Of course Petra does. If you ever want a place in Champion City, just ask. <laughs> like I said, she's the worst. She left the puppies there. Hey, you're the one who decided to live here. I... Yeah, I deserve that. Like you said, let's... Talk about it later. Right now, I really need to figure out how I'm going to get my sword back. I just don't know how we're going to do that. Stella's treasure room is right there. 
but I've got a bad feeling about those bodyguards of hers. I could probably sneak in through the puppy kennel, but that's a lot of barking puppies. There's got to be a way. Hmm. We fight our way in. We sneak in. Sneak. I think we can handle sneaking through some puppies. Let's stealth it up. Sounds good to me. Uh oh. That was a choice that apparently significantly changed the story. We're gonna need a distraction for those guards. Oh, that thing is so cute! Oh no! How are we gonna get through here with none of them barking? I've got it covered. Puppies. See? You like bones, right? Okay, go, 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 go. Oh Don't my god. <laughs> Okay. This is Stella's treasure room? Yeah. Trophy heads, gold pants, sponge blocks, a diamond hoe? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people on them. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. Especially treasure you got from other people. Not letting her keep mine, though. It must be in here somewhere. Listen, about what Stella said before, about being Champion City's hero in residence, it's really no big deal. It's, you know, nothing. Uh, I just can't believe you didn't tell me that you thought you had to hide it. I didn't want to hurt your feelings, okay? Ugh. No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. Just wow. look at today. We were supposed to go on one adventure, and you were late. I can't even get my friends to spend time with me. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest, and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. Well, what about loyalty, huh? To your friends? The people who take care of you? Doesn't that mean anything? Of course it does, dummy. But do you really, like, expect me to just hang around waiting for you forever? I've got my own life, my own stuff, too. No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? Check it out. That's right. It's Patra, armed with her mighty sword, Miss Butter. Hiya! This is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. By her side is her best friend, the greatest hero in the world, Jesse. Together, they can take on. Oh, hi! <laughs> Wow. Uh, you, you should not be here. This, this is, um, hmm, this is incredibly awkward. <laughs> wow. Uh. Having a fun time, Stella? Little bit of pretend? Bet all your people out there would love to hear about this. Oh, please, no, 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 no. You can have your dumb sword back. Let's just pretend this whole thing never happened, and I will let you go. Okay. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day okay. you will brew till... Still not my rival! <clears throat> oh, man. 
Raw. Feels so good to have you back. What? What did oh, you call? Come me? on. I'm sorry. Okay. Make I already butter. know I don't deserve this back. What buttercup? Uh. Oh, I can't stay angry at you, Petra. I'm really disappointed, but I forgive you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> Keep off the grass. What is that? It's false. Uh, what was that? Keep off the grass. What? What is happening? What are those? That sign didn't stop that. Oh, I think those. the heck mouth oh, is barfing. Supercharged creepers. Charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. <laughs> Tell the creepers that. Go. The heck mouth is barfing. I got you covered, Jesse. <laughs> so good to have you back. <laughs> Punch it with your super prisonering glove. Oh no, you don't! Whoa! Oh, that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome! Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. Really? How are you going to cover up a hole like that? Dig! Wait! They're probably going to be invading the mines now. I, I don't know how we're going to get this to hold. That heckmouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. Quickly! He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Uh, it's raining. That's great. <laughs> See, a guy about a thing. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I Bad didn't luck? even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know. These are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. Well, then these people are dumb. Just because I'm the boss doesn't mean I can't mix it up. Uh-huh. Sure, sure. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know him, know him, I know of him. Okay. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? Well, if I can offer some advice, Best thing to do around your heroes is just act like yourself. Otherwise, it's weird for everyone. Be myself. Got it? Got it. Okay, let's try to find this guy before Jack the heck mouth Jack and Nerm's explodes. Adventure Emporium. Okay. <laughs> yup. What's a Nerm? our place. Man, I've always wanted an excuse to come here. What's in there? Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Whatever that is. There's parrots everywhere. Oh, wow. Upper Lowlands, Spider Peak Mountain, the Ice Crags of Doom. 
<laughs> Did he name all of this? It's just like I told you! Jack might be the best adventurer in town. This stuff is from all over the world. See, Petra? Beacon Town has some pretty cool stuff too, huh? Oh, uh, well, I mean, what's cool about all of this is that it isn't from Beacon Town, though. Uh, but you've got a good point. This is a, a big win for Beacon Town. Push for service. Boop. <clears throat> Welcome to Jack and Nerm's Adventure Emporium. Oh my gosh, it's him. It's Jack. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm a big fan. You push the button. Very, very brave. Uh, I don't know. Hmm. The Ping Zhao people settle land disputes with that kind of eye contact, but I don't think that's what you're doing. Warriors of the Whispering Mountain call me the Stab Walker. The Air Titans of the East call me he who slashes like thunder. But you may call me Jack. Is he blind in one eye? So cool. I have lots of names too. The the people of Sky City call me the the Ground Finder. Other oh my people gosh, know me as really? the Wither Slayer. You can call me uh, Jesse. Oh, cool <laughs> wow. So, what can I do for you today? Desert Temple? Woodland Mansion? Whoa. Yeah, that's what we're here about. <laughs> He's seen it before, hasn't he? <coughs> uh, wow, huh? Crazy glove you got there. Not that I've ever seen one before. Yep, he's seen one before. Looks real crazy, though. Crazy stuff. Jack, look at yourself. We know you're lying. Why? Yeah, come on, Jack. I... That is, uh... uh found it on top of a creepy bottomless pit, right? Spitting out monsters? Yeah, and it had a slot with, like, a weird symbol? <sighs> you should have never picked up that gauntlet. It's not for us mortals to tamper with. But it was whispering my name. And that made you want to pick it up more? <laughs> Lol. That pit, it's as deadly as they come. And that symbol you saw was the symbol of the structure block. The structure block? Legend says it was a mighty tool that could grow civilizations like seeds, create cities in the blink of an eye. You need one of those to close your pit. So where can I get one of these structure blocks? Petra thought maybe an ocean monument because of the prismarine? Oh, it's an ocean monument, all right. The villagers of Mushroom Archipelago call it the Sea Temple. Yep, mm. cool. Mm. Oh, th is no, that no, Nerm? No, no problem. Guys, this is Nerm, my yeah, other half. It's Nerm. He's the genius behind all of our fine maps. Nerm? This is Jesse and Petra. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hi. I was just about to tell these two that I can't help them. What? I love your early work. Witherstorm, old builders, awesome. But as a purveyor of fine maps and adventures, your death would be terrible for business. But... Sorry. I just can't. Hmm. Well, then I guess we'll take our business elsewhere, right, Petra? What? Uh, but... <sighs> mm. I'm guessing there are tons of people who know where to find this place. <sighs> That's where you're wrong. It's like I said before. The world's a lot bigger than you think it is, Jesse. Really? Whoa. A whole nother bit of the map? Oh my. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's huge, but there's this lodge that... 
just a piece of stone. Let me guess. The empty square is where we need to go. Yep. And it's missing because... I, uh... kind of burned it. I threw it into a volcano, okay? What? Why? You didn't need that kind of danger anyway, all right? I swore I wouldn't take anyone else to that temple ever again. I refuse to let it take any more lives. Hmm. <sighs> Shut up, Nerm. What? Oh, I see what's going on here. You're scared. <laughs> no. I'm the one the apex hunters of the Sergeo Pass call Fearless Dagger. I don't do scared. <laughs> I found a gauntlet just like that once. Teamed up with my friends, Voss and Sammy, to follow its trail. Neither of them made it out alive. Hence, uh, you know, lava, map, volcano. You remember what I was saying, anyway. But burning the map couldn't erase the horrible memories. And thanks to the curse of my perfect sense of direction, I couldn't forget the location of that temple if I tried. So, if you're the oh. only one who knows where it is... Yep. Without me, you never get into that sea temple. That knowledge is... my curse. Hmm, Jack, I get that you're haunted by horrible memories, but that's no reason to sit around moping. What'd you say? It's time to go get us some treasure and help you face your demons. Yeah! Yeah! Now, well, that sounds to me like a challenge. And no one, and I mean no one, challenges the Velvet Tornado. And me. And gets away with it. Yeah? Nerm, time to get our adventuring things. Mm. Adventuring things? Jesse, it's perfect. Structure block? Sea temple? I know, it's amazing. It's almost too good to be true. Ah, uh, yes! Going on an adventure again. And Jack, Yay. man, he is awesome, right? Ah, uh, I can't believe it. I'm going on an adventure with Jack. I like him. Can't wait to see him in action out there. I was just thinking the same thing. I told you, it's not the admins. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, fine. What did he say? Nothing. Villager stuff. Nerm here wants to make a new map of this place. Uh, what with the uh, whole lava oh. volcano incident. He's a, um, he's a cartographer. <laughs> Easy, Nermy. Don't pull Yeah, he's a, a cartographer. Why are you so excited about this one? <laughs> Uh, I'll explain on the way. So that means we're off to the Sea Temple? Don't you think you're looking a little squishy for that? Seriously? I mean, you're wearing a vest. The vest of five fists. What? Gifted to me by the singing clerics of Port. Okay, geez, I get it. It's a cool vest. Come on, I just need to make a quick pit stop and I can show you some real armor. Okay. Yay. So glad you're here. Hey, Radar. There is a lot going on. Someone still needs to finalize the ideas for the Founding Day banners. The cake baking team can't agree on what color to make the front of their shop. The Woolmakers Guild isn't super happy Radar. about their booth being there. Ah, sorry, got in the zone there. Uh, what's up, boss? <laughs> I see you brought friends and a new accessory. Short version, the town's in danger. I stopped it for now, but I think this can help me fix it permanently. I'll be gone for a little bit. Gone? But, Jesse, what about Beacon Town? Founding Day is right around the corner, and if it's really in, in, in danger, who will protect everyone? Um... There's no telling what could happen! Why don't you try leading them, pal? What? Me? That's... this is... Try not to explode. <laughs> Jesse, I won't let you down. I know you won't. Try Good luck, boss. Explode. Beacon Town will be waiting for you when you get back. Sure. Ha! Um, goodbye. <laughs> Good goodbye. <laughs> you said it. Can't believe that's your assistant. 
He's more wound up than a pack of parrots with a jukebox. <laughs> or a creeper in a herd of cats. Or a squid in a, I don't know, a box or side. Anyway, he's real nervous is what I'm saying. Can you blame him? You're kind of an intimidating guy. Aw, thank you. <laughs> so, where's this armor of yours? Oh, wow. You got some pretty cool stuff here. Stuff I've never... Uh, probably only seen, you know, once or twice. Not as cool as my stuff, obviously, but uh, you're well on your way. Definitely on your way to becoming a big hero like me. Not as big, of course, but, uh, you know, a real, a real great swing. Best part is, there's always another adventure on the horizon. Yeah, like a sea temple. Yeah, okay, not exactly what I meant, but sure. <laughs> Hey, wait, is this not where you keep your armor anymore? Yeah, I'm not seeing any armor. No? No, I just had Olivia install a little upgrade while she was here. Super armor push! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, it's all the armor! Yeah, I've got one of those too. Oh, now I get to choose, don't I? This is Tim's armor. I think I'm gonna go with Tim's armor. Remember Tim from the, um, from season one? He, he was the made up guy and this is his armor. It is, it's Tim. Hey everybody, Tim is here. Woo! Uh, excuse me, Tim. Long story, tell you later. Fine. Now that's more like it. <laughs> Breed. Hey, uh, can you just give me and Jesse a minute? Huh? Oh. Listen. With the heck mouth and everything, I feel like I didn't get to properly apologize. For all the stuff with my sword, Champion City, so I'm sorry. You won't hear it oh, again. Oh, hopefully so the heck mouth doesn't attack totally Champion deny everything City. Later. I appreciate it. I mean, it's pretty big of you. Hey, look, I really meant it. Ah. <laughs> it really is big of me, isn't it? Okay, now with that sappy stuff out of the way, let's go find us a sea temple. Jack, Nurm, you guys ready to go? Always. So where are we going exactly? It's time to chart a course for Doom Sea. Oh. Nurm, it's an awesome name. <laughs> for today's episode i hope you did enjoy this video and please leave a like and do subscribe to my channel thanks bye